Long overdue vlogs. Footage I shot quite some time ago, but didn't get around to finally editing till much later. It's long overdue vlogs. MagFest 2015 edition. Once again for MAGFest 2015, I carpooled to Maryland with Chris the Nerd. And while we didn't film anything in the car on the ride down this time, we once again decided to head down a day early and stay at a motel closer to National Harbor. I chose a motel called the Northeast Garden Inn in Laurel, Maryland because it was cheap. Turns out it was also hard to find, as the GPS took us to the correct exit, but then told us to get back on the highway, get off at the next exit, turn around, get back on the highway going the other way, get back off the first exit again, and then turn to the parking lot a good two blocks early. Eventually we found the apparently not particularly northeastern Garden Inn, a home of a restaurant that we never saw open, a continental breakfast that was just a coffee maker, and the rooms... Well, I did my best to document it with my then-new Canon Rebel, which I hadn't quite figured out the focus or white balance on yet. So we are here at our motel. Hello, Mirror. Uh, we're at our motel the day before MAGFest. Uh, much like last year, we decided to come most of, the, most of the way the day before and stay at a motel. And uh, last year, we thought our motel was particularly sketchy, so much so that Nick made a horror film about it that he never finished. Uh, we didn't know what sketchy was. Chris, give them the tour. Okay, uh, well, let's start with the first thing that everybody looks at when checking into a new motel, the television. Being a Zenith model, this was probably made somewhere in 1906. <laughs> and it comes on a lovely rolling cart. So you can see it at every single angle in this very spacious room. Over here is where it gets interesting. A closet, a very important thing for anybody staying in a motel. Not a bad sized closet, but once you look at the door, you'll realize someone has taken a piece of it. <laughs> Another souvenir somebody has apparently taken is some of the wallpaper. But ladies and gentlemen, this is not where it gets scary. Where it gets scary is, and unfortunately there is not enough room for both of us to be in here, Dave. I apologize, you're gonna have to venture in there alone. You know, usually it's not a problem that there's not enough room for two people in a bathroom, but usually, when it comes to the but, tour... But when it comes to a, a tour, I'm gonna have to give... Yes. Well, as, as you can see, um, this faucet apparently is just always dripping here in the shower, and um, if you'll just look at all the lovely colors in the bathtub... Yeah, I, personally, I love the rust color. Yes. It's like somebody just cleaned up a crime scene in here. I don't know how well you can tell on camera because the whole white balance is a little yellow right now, but it, but it is particularly yellow in certain spots of that bathtub. So we're sort of thinking, maybe we'll just shower at the Gaylord tomorrow. I think you are absolutely correct because say what you will about the Gaylord, at least it's clean. It is clean. and. Honestly, most of the things I would say about the Gaylord are pretty complimentary. Yeah, agreed. And we, we came to our room to find a lovely pamphlet for a place called Pizza Presto, even though our key cards for the room advertise uh, Domino's uh, room service called Domino's, which I think is something we might do. <laughs> because we really don't feel like being in the car again after all the bullshit my GPS put us through to get us to this motel. That should have been our first clue. That is the kind of magic that one can expect here at the Northeast Gardens Inn in Laurel, Maryland. Or sketchy as fuck, Bart Daw. Yeah. So it is now the next morning, and a couple things we forgot to mention uh, when we shot last night. First off, a lot of these outlets just straight up don't work. A lot of these electrical outlets. Uh, that one I tried plugging my laptop into, outlet just didn't work. This one, this alarm clock's plugged into. It's either the alarm clock doesn't work or the outlet doesn't, and uh, Neither one would surprise me. Yeah. yeah. And, um, the big thing we forgot to mention last time was, uh, this beautiful little, uh, number here. That's, uh, a, a, a glorious piece of furniture. <laughs> look at, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just special? We're still not entirely sure that the locks on the door do anything. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've put my key card in there a couple times yeah. and it's open and I've been like, nah. Yeah. Like the light goes off, but you don't hear any clicking any any of the normal the things light just goes off. this little seam in the wallpaper here is um is nothing particularly special but just given everything else in the room it's uh quite wonderful did we ever mention that that desk there has no chair yeah there's there's no chair for this desk best we could figure is maybe this little bench thing you're supposed to bring over for the desk 
It's the Wii U. You're supposed yeah. to sit on the box that you bring. Yeah, so you're supposed to bring, bring your own uh, bring your own furniture and sit on it and. and uh, Autofocus taking forever. I mean, we got this chair over here, but that doesn't really fit between the desk and the bed, at least not in such a way where you can get in and out of the chair. You know, I have no idea if this phone works at all. We haven't bothered uh, testing it, and um. I was convinced last night there wasn't one. Yeah, these uh, bruises on the wall over here. Um, <laughs> Someone's been going a few rounds with the walls. Yeah, I think the wall won. Oh hey, this this desk is missing one of the handles. That, that, there's that too. <laughs> like, uh, see, you got that side, and oh, not over here. God, we're finding stuff even as we're leaving. Yes. So there you go. There's our documentation for science. Yes, that's for you, Haley. Um, Let's see. Haley wanted it for science. Casey wanted it for the greater good. Yes. Kevin wanted to know if Danny's still over here. Yes. Danny's actually might. We're not that far from the Gaylord. <laughs> Danny's might actually operate out of one of these rooms. We weren't sure if this fridge worked at all, so we put in a vanilla Coke last night, and eh, it's, it's it's cold. It's cold, so the fridge so works. So the, the fridge works, but we don't know how long it took to get cold. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's another dent in the wall here, right behind the lamp that, uh... <laughs> that I swear is not from me. Let's find out once and for all, does the TV even work? Well, it makes sounds. Oof, look at that HD picture. Ah, uh, I feel like I'm in a motel in 1993. Oh, and the closed captioning is on automatically. It just gets. Yeah. And here we have our elevator, which we'll see how long it takes to get here. Should be right there. Should be. Is good because it's low. now when you when you first come in from this angle, it actually looks kind of nice. It's not not bad, but then you see this side, and then you see uh, all these marks, like the wood paneling, just like over here. It looks fancy and not so much over here. As you can see, it's very slow. Uh, you said the door door close button doesn't work. Yeah, door close button doesn't work at all, and um, I don't trust anything. Buttons. For contrast, the hotel at the Gaylord goes through like 10 floors in about a second. <laughs> the, or the elevator at the Gaylord, rather. Yeah. Nope, the Gaylord itself. It goes 10 yep. elevators a second. <laughs> door always open, too, which is nice. Yeah, here it is. Open. Yep. That door just doesn't, straight up doesn't close. So that was the room that inspired us to create my most beloved role, Doggins Hotel Fixer, with the beloved catchphrase, THAT'S BROKE! So before we moved on to the Gaylord, Chris was craving a pancake breakfast, so we tried to find an IHOP. The GPS took us down a road and then told us that the IHOP was to the right. So we turned into the shopping center and searched every nook and cranny for a non-existent IHOP. Eventually, we gave up and decided to turn around and hit the Dunkin' Donuts we saw, but once we got to the Dunkin', we saw where the IHOP actually was. In the middle of the road. Not to the right of either side. Excellent work, GPS. But we had our pancakes and the power of love played over the IHOP stereo, so we were in a properly nerdy mood to arrive at the Gaylord. We checked into our rooms, took our showers, and then I fulfilled the true joy of driving down to a con. Having a car and therefore being able to pick people up from the airport. So I made my way down to Ronald Reagan International Airport, as did Ionone, who also drove down himself, and we went to pick up our friends. Why, well, Mr. Royal King, what are you doing at Reagan National Airport? Nothing. Definitely not plotting to overthrow anyone. Where would you get a silly idea like that? You're out of focus for whatever reason, despite autofocus being on and you being the only thing in frame. Oh, now you're in focus. And... You know what? Screw autofocus. Ta-da! I'm in 3D! You're gonna do this in post, right? It's gonna look totally dumb otherwise. And that's the new Geek Vision logo. Why, if it isn't Arthur Knowledge from the Quest for Geekdom! Hello! What is he doing at an airport? Stop. Just stop. Stop. Got all your bags? Yeah, we can do it all. Already. Already. Yeah. We are.
are going to review DCA now. <laughs> it's an airport. The end. So that's already just as many rides as the real DCA had when it opened. There, there, has, there is an improvement. There is an improvement. Last year, Southwest was not flying here, and now they are. There you go. That that was this DCA's version of Cars Land. That was their big like overhaul. Blue is here anymore, which is a major improvement. Trust me. <laughs> so then a Magfest happened, and. As it was wrapping up, a snowmageddon happened. No, mageddon where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. This kept us at the Gaylord a night later than we planned, and even the next day we couldn't make it all the way back to New England, so we took another detour. So we are now in uh, Edison, New Jersey, in a red roof inn. Because of snowmageddon, we could not make it all the way back to New England. Uh, we saw a sign in Maryland that said Connecticut emergency vehicles only. And uh, let's meet our contestants. Ayanone, you drove in your own car. Yes, I did. It was my first time driving in, maybe the last. <laughs> we, uh, and Can we. I stop waving now. No, you wave forever. Uh... <laughs> and we kind of lost each other on, on route, but then we found each other again yes, at the motel. Did. Uh, Chris, you of course rode with me, much yeah. like on the way down here. I drove in the passenger seat. Yes, I don't think that counts as driving. Mm, well, that's what you think. Chris just wrapped production on season three of his hit web series as failed on TV. Season two, rather. My apologies. I did. You gotta do the whole thing all over again. Yep. <laughs> Start the vlog over. You Start the vlog know. over. So, New Jersey is where we are. This is the new star. That person, that person. I'm indifferent towards this whole matter. <laughs> Brings us up to speed. Yes, uh, we're hoping we'll be able to make it home to New England tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully. Apparently New York was not hit as bad as they were expecting, but Connecticut was hit pretty bad. And so was Massachusetts. And so was Massachusetts. Now this motel is much nicer than our Laurel, Maryland uh, debacle. Um, it's still got some weirdness about it, such as... Okay, so the, re the bathroom back here... No lock on the door, kind of weird, but we respect each other's privacy. We won't barge in on each other. Um, I'm a little more weirded out by the wood panel floor of the restroom. That does not seem conducive to water spills or whatever happens in the shower. And that incredibly loud goddamn fan in the bathroom. Incredibly loud fan. Um, extremely loud and incredibly fan. <laughs> now, uh, but yeah, the adventure down here was interesting on account of... Um, we kept passing each other, then we got way ahead of you, but then you actually did the smart thing and took the correct route, and... Uh, I don't know if it was correct or not, but, uh, I, I, I yeah, because I, I, I wasn't going the same way I was <laughs> to get down here, and I was a little confused, so I pulled over to a Wawa gas station. Ah, uh, yes. There's a station called Wawa. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a Jersey, well, it's... Kind of a southern east coast thing these days. Um, yeah, so we did not actually consult the GPS today for most of the day because we were just thinking, yeah, we'll just keep going north on 95. We'll just keep going north on 95 until we can't go north on 95 anymore. What we didn't realize is that coming south here, we apparently didn't notice when it took us off of 95 to put us back on 95. We apparently didn't notice the shortcut it took to get us from Jersey straight to Delaware. Because going north of 95, it took us a detour through Philly and Pennsylvania, which made the route longer, but it was all worth it for the greatest street name of all time, Street Road, which was a street that we passed street on the highway. Road. Street Road. My reaction upon seeing the sign was just to say, Street Road! Street Road! Street Road! Over and over. And I don't know if these yeah. guys went a different way than I did, but... Oh, oh yes, we did. You saw another, uh... Yeah, I saw an... Oh, there, I, I went, there was an overpass, and the, 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 they had the street name listed on the overpass, and I kid you not, it was Blue Ball Ave. Blue Ball Ave. Blue Ball Ave. Still not quite as great as Street right, Road, but... Right, uh, right off the corner of Cock Block Lane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, so then, we consulted on the phone, we decided... To pick a town and meet in it, you looked up that this town had a red roof in. Yeah. So with, here we are. Uh, low, relatively cheap rooms. Re relatively, not as cheap as the Northeast Garden Inn in Laurel, Maryland, but also not as terrifying. 
as the yeah, end. That, 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 that's what I was wondering. You go middle of the road, so you're not paying yeah. too much, but you're also getting a place that's not basically a hideout for drug dealers. And also, unlike Laurel, Maryland, the GPS knew how to get here. That's very true. So we got here, and our room key advertised the greatest... Uh, hold on, I gotta focus on it. The greatest restaurant business of all time. Quaker Steak and Lube. When do you want some lube with your steak? We can get 10% off our meal with the key card. Apparently they have the best wings, you know, just best lubed up wings. Um, That's what we call the barbecue sauce. Ordering now available at lubewings2fly.com. Yeah, because if you eat them, you're going to need to fly to the nearest bathroom. Fly me to the lube and da 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 da. <laughs> but Magfest isn't officially over until you're in your own bed, so this is still Magfest, damn it. Ooh. Yes, it is. Oh shit, I took off my wristband. God damn it, now they're gonna kick us out of Magfest. Uh, now, how will they know that I'm over 21? <laughs> we are all very tired. <laughs> we are very tired, and we're not actually funny anymore. We're tired and full of Friendly's ice cream. Yes, Fr Friendly's was the one restaurant we found the, the, about two miles away. That, that wasn't also offering uh, lube services. Yes. That was the other thing is that uh, there are a couple motels in this district, but there's not a whole lot of restaurants. It's mostly residential areas around here, so yeah. finding food was different, mm -hmm. but... Hopefully we will be in our own beds tomorrow and MAGFest will be officially over. Yep. As sad as we are for MAGFest to end, we love it. But we also want to be in our beds and mm -hmm. sleep and not have to share beds with each other anymore. <laughs> well, you're just sharing a bed with a tripod right now. I, I like it. The tripod doesn't snore. <laughs> it is the but only like one. Him. It is now Wednesday morning. The travel bans are all lifted. We think we're making it home today. We think. Thank Christ. Yes. Yes, finally gonna get some breakfast, then I'm going back to Massachusetts. Now, Ayanone, as I recall, this is not your first time having trouble getting home from MAGFest. No, but <laughs> no, last year I got, I got fucked over pretty hard by JetBlue during the, the I mean, I'm not entirely sure why they were canceling so many flights while others weren't. So uh, I finally just told them to go fuck themselves, got my money back, and uh, had to buy a ticket from, I think, U.S. Airways. And then U.S. Airways, you know, they, they get me home, but they lose my bag. So I had to spend hours in line just to say, you lost my bag. And they say, oh, okay, we'll send it to your home. And then I completely sleep deprived had to drive from Boston back to my house in uh, Northbridge Mass mm -hmm. and I'm just like slapping myself in the face to keep myself awake the entire time finally got home and just plopped right on the bed I was just out in seconds slept for slept till midnight I got con flu after last magfest I was lucky in that I did not get sick but and I believe that was when you were like fuck it I'm driving next year that exactly. won't cause any trouble no. and here we are now here so I, here after I all of that I already know the answer but which would you rather have honestly no I'd rather drive <laughs> yeah, because, uh... After all, I mean, would yeah, you rather have this nonsense or that nonsense? Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd rather have this nonsense because at least in this case I had a bed to sleep on instead of a cold airport floor with the PA system announcing the time every half hour. The time is now 2 a.m. The time is now 2.30 a.m. Uh, who goes to an airport without something they can use to tell what time it is? <laughs> Was it the same voice as the, uh... Magfest uh, as the gay lords ignore the fire alarm oh, announcement. Oh, that was our first Magfest yeah. when that happened. Yeah. That was a man. This was a woman's uh, voice. So. Go, back go back to sleep. <laughs> they're married and they shout at each other all night. Yes. This meatloaf is delicious, honey. It is 2.30 a.m. <laughs>
<laughs> the, 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 the please go back to your bed voice comes home at 3 a.m. And he's, where have you been? It is 2.30 a.m. <laughs> they're, they're kids. <coughs> Mom, Dad, there is a monster under my bed. It is 2.30 a.m. <laughs> but despite the total inaccessibility a mere one day prior, by the time we made it home to New England, the streets were all safely plowed. We all went our separate ways, and I began packing for my move to California.